what the f Tufty! Huh? Okay. Well then. Ah! Four, I'm done with this game! Welcome everyone and welcome to the MGM channel. I'm your host, Cornish, and today we're going to be talking about another four-player co-op game, which was really unique after a while. We ended up enjoying the heck out of it and we're looking forward to seeing more stuff, and that game is Haunt Chaser. Haunt Chaser is a single-player and co-op horror game with an open world and lots of areas to discover. You and your team can reveal the secrets of the locations. With lots of missions and random pick of missions each time you play, we'll have a different scary event, which is really cool. Because each time you start the game, you'll have a different mission located out the world every time you start the game. As a cool bonus, the team itself who made Haunt Chaser will change the world and mission for every season. So while you're playing this mission, until the next season, you'll have a completely new story and another chapter to the series. So that's really, really, really cool how they did that. But don't be fooled, it may be just chapter one, but there is so many secrets to discover about this area, and even the world itself, so there's a lot of lore into this. Oh, it's, it's her again! Uh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I guess that's mission is done. Find the dormitory in the orphanage and reveal the relationship between the. <laughs> they misspelled. Tufty! Tufty! Fuck! I just see children running. I'm not liking this. I'm hiding in the wardrobe. Catch you later, dude. With a lot of jump scares and also the ghost chasing you, you can either have the AI or the human coming after you, which is cool. Uh, I prefer to have the whole AI thing because one player and four VS, yeah, four player VS one is not really my type of thing, but having an AI chasing after you, which is, is pretty cool, but we will get to that in a second. So the gameplay, let's talk about the gameplay. So you'll need to collect items, pieces scattered around the world by doing what you need to carry out your mission, like opening a secret red door to the kitchen using the probatic microphone in order to find where the ghost has hid the item. But be warned, the main ghost is out there trying to hunt you down. If you're looking for a interesting story game, I would strongly recommend setting the ghost difficulty to easy because normal is really broken. I'm saying it's very broken. Um, with easy, you'll get that kind of chance to get out there and actually see some cool things. Uh, whilst on normal, it will get you within two seconds. So apparently we need to investigate houses and stuff. Right behind you, it's right behind you. Oh my god, what already? I, I think that's something they need to fix. So on the next subject, we're gonna be talking about the tools for the chaser. So in, in the Haunt Chaser, you are equipped with lots of tools, such as a specialist camera, a mystical stone, EMF reader, chromatic microphone, and a flash which can ward off the ghosts. Not to mention the sigil. Sigil, I can pronounce that pretty well. Uh, to ward off the ghost that is chasing you, you have this thing on your arm, and yeah, uh, you can either block doors for the ghost from entering or place traps down so the ghost gets banished for a bit. Um, which is, it's all right, it's it's good tool. Uh, we'll get around to that later. Um, but if you're looking for that whole one v four player thing, Majig, uh, let's talk about the haunt and the chaser. So the chaser must carry out the missions and use the equipment that are given to banish the evil spirits that are haunting the world area. Or the haunt, aka the ghost, is trying to stop you. One of your teams get caught. Do not worry about that because one of your team members can go back to the uh, cemetery and with the other player looking for which name of the gravestone you need to open whilst the other dead person is looking at the gravestone's name in the other world you need to find the right name to open it out to get the player out which is a lot easier than you think trust me um and now wow uh, this is another thing which i really like and let's talk about the world events the random world events got him got him got him oh my god Oh my god! Tufty! That <laughs> dude. I heard that too! Oh, oh. 
Oh, dude, you want to? What? Have you, have you got your? Uh... What? <laughs> now let's talk about another thing which I really like: the random world events in the game. Now, wherever you're exploring, from an orphanage b building to underground to a brothel house or some other mansion, um, you can always find something creepy in the game. So. There is events in different areas, and there are events that will really scare you, like um, the the incident where we had to open the red door to reveal its secret. That gave us, well, gave me a jump scare of a lifetime. We had that totally wrong. <laughs> Doors opened. Yeah, I I'm gonna wait for you. Oh, what? Oh. Huh? Okay. Oh, I'm done with this game. <laughs> um, there are also puzzle uh, missions as well, like uh, um, find find a painting room where you have to like solve the puzzle there with the Mystic Stone. I like that. That was cool. And there is many more which we which we haven't even had a chance to do yet. But man, that was really really fun. So as I said, the puzzles were very pretty good anyway you it will make some of the puzzles will make one of your teams separate to find the other area um they'll have a clue of where you need to go so that other team can go and find and solve puzzle for you while your team is there cracking the puzzle um that that's i like that that's cool because you've also got that worrying that the ghost will still be around whilst the other team uh it's, it's really good um the visuals is really nice. I, I, I could only wish Voldemort's cousin didn't attack us constantly. I wish they put a bit more of a, a scarier ghost in because I feel like Voldemort's cousin just wants to give us a hug. He's the opposite of bad, but good, but then a ghost. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the audio is also an incredible. Definitely recommend a 7.1 surround sound headset because those noises will keep you on edge. And I like that in a game, especially when you hear the like the ghosts and stuff. So in overall, the game on normal is pretty bad. The AI is terrible. If you've got five friends, then one person wants to be the ghost, then it'll be a hilarious little game for you guys. But if you want to join the story and like go through and see some secret things, then set your ghost to AI on easy and you'll have a better time than playing on normal because like I said, normal is broken. They need to fix that. And that is my review on Haunt Chaser. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and we'll see you soon. Cornish signing out. You take care and have a wonderful day.